Welcome back to module number four, where we continue to examine different tools with technical analysis that can help us make the right decision when trading a stock. So now we're going to talk about the momentum tools. And the first tool we're going to discuss is known as the stochastics. So stochastics are part of the lagging indicators that let you see when the stock will be ready to reverse to another side. Understanding how to utilize this multiple ways will help you majorly. And the reason it's called lagging is it's because it's not real time. Sometimes it could point a certain direction, but the reality is it could take a little longer for it to show. So let's review. So these lines go either above the 80 mark or below the 20 mark. Any stocks that go beyond the top blue line shows that it's overbought. This means that the stock is ready to reverse and come back down. Any stocks that go below this blue line means the stock is oversold and is ready to turn back up and start profiting on the upside. So let's take a look at a simple stochastic chart that keeps going back up and down, up and down, just like a normal oscillator that you see in a heart monitor. But let's take a look at a couple pieces here. Do you see these sharp turns? Now these turns actually start reversing to the upside. If we compare it to the chart, you could actually see these points where they actually reverse the momentum of the stock to the other direction. The 10% don't rely on guessing where the stock will shift. They use indicators to help them get there. This is another great tool to include into your trading plan. So now let's take a live look and see how the stochastics work in real life. So here we have a stock of BABA, Alibaba Group Holdings. So when we're looking at this chart, there's a lot of ups and downs here and a lot of volatility. And when we compare it to the stochastics, which is usually on the bottom. So whenever you go to a chart, they'll give you an opportunity to put certain things like indicators right here. So I have something called fast stochastics. There's fast and there's slow. Usually I like to use fast because it gives me sudden movements for fast moves. If you're doing a longer term trade, maybe like a few months, you might want to use a slow stochastic. Totally up to you. I like to use fast for the fast moves. So when we take a look at this, it's very interesting to see what's going on. When you look over here and you see these crosses just to make it easier for us to look. When you're looking at the stochastics at the bottom right here, you could see how it goes from the top straight down. So you could see it's over 80. The 80 mark is right here. It's over 80, which means it's overbought. So there's so much buying going on that it's letting you know it's too much. It's ready to be sold and collect for profits. And look what happens if I put this line right there. When it starts turning, look what happened to this momentum. So you could literally start seeing we're going to put a little trend line here to really show this to you. You could see this downturn happening, but it was really started with this turn. Kind of interesting. So if you keep looking here, on, later on, we have a scenario here where you have another turn. So you could see it went down below the 20 mark which is a signal. Now what you want to do is you want to be able to see this go from down and then you want to see a reversal to the top, almost even crossing back up to the line because that gives you something called confirmation. You don't want to always guess. So when you, when you see this going up, look what happens right after this. If I move my line all the way directly up here, look at this. We had this whole upturn right here. Now you also see a little bit of a of a move that's happening right here as well. You see how it, it, it's tried to reverse itself, but then it started moving again. Sometimes it won't need to move all the way to this line because it's in the middle of a momentum, but it had a downswing for temporarily. But again, it moved back up and said, no, 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 no. This is just a break. Let's continue our move. And it, and it actually went all the way to the upside. 
So it's a really nice signal. Now, do you want this to be the only signal? No, because it is a lagging indicator, but it gives you a good idea of what's going on. Let's take a look at another one. So you could see right here, this is this was overbought. Now this was a, a short time it stayed here. Sometimes you'll see it stays a longer time, but you see this nice sharp turn. Now let's look at what happens. We put it, put it over here. Now you want to see this reverse here. So even though reverse, you could see still had a good day, but it's a lagging indicator. So it actually happened a day later and you started seeing this downturn. It actually is very accurate. Let's take another look somewhere else here. So let's look at over here. You could see little triangle went down and then it came back up. And when we look here, boom, there's our turn. So we see the turn to the upside. Now sometimes it's not gonna be as crazy. So if you look over here, you have a little turn here. Okay, and if we go up, it had a, now this is actually a big move. Again, when we start learning how we trade certain ways where you could make a lot of money, even on a single big move like this, it actually helps. So in this scenario, that's actually a big move. Cause look at that. It was just, it seems smaller because it was only two days, but the reality is this move is equal to about this move. It's almost the same amount. So that's a good move there. Then they had another one. So you see and it went down a little bit and then it had another move right here. And look what happens. Once they had this move, letting you know, hey, we're ready to do this. At this point, you should be able to see a pattern here. Here's another one. Okay, we're gonna look at a couple more here. You see it go down and it's really nice when it goes down and then you see a sharp turn. That sharp turn, again, we move all the way over here, and there it is. Now, there are some things called moving averages. We're not going to get too much into that in this class, but they're very, very important. You could see these lines. There's a red line and a black line. It's very nice when they start crossing. It shows you a better move, better momentum. Once again, you see over here, it opens up. From the top, bottom, and you see that down move. What I'd recommend is go look at your own charts. Pull up some charts on stockcharts.com and do this exercise. It's amazing how patterns start coming together. Now, is this the only thing you want to use? No. But now think about the things we have. We have stochastics. We have other things like candlesticks that we understand. We have resistance and support. So there are many tools we have that we're learning to make decisions. There's plenty more out there that we want to include in your trading plan to make the absolute right decisions. But I hope at this time you start seeing how much more powerful these tools are than, let's say, the news or anything like that. All right, guys, I appreciate it. On to the next lesson. Now that we understand what the stochastics are, we're going to talk about one of the most powerful tools out there volume. Now the volume of the stock is a leading indicator that helps us determine how the demand is. The higher the volume, the stronger the price movement is in that direction. The following bars are the volume of the stock. The black bars are the bullish volume and the red is the bearish volume. Every time you see higher than usual volume, it helps the stock accelerate towards the bullish or bearish direction. So if you take a look at the chart that's expanded, you could tell that every time the volume is up, you could see that there's a shift in the stock in that direction for a certain amount of time. So let's take a live look at volume. So here we have a chart of CMG, Chipotle Mexican Grill. And what you could see here is there's a stock going in one direction and there's lines on the bottom. These are what you know as volume lines. So let's take a look at a couple of them. So if you see over here, we'll start from the very beginning, right at this area. You could see that when the volume is up, so this black line right here showing me that the volume is a higher than usual and it has a nice bar. 
that's a nice sign of a reversal. Now, it may not happen right away, although it did. The next day, it opened up pretty strong. Over time, you could see that in a short amount of time, there was a, a big uptrend when it started moving in that direction from right here. You could also see right here is another one. There's a large black line which shows a lot of volume because volume is the fuel to the stock. The more volume, the better chance it's going to sustain that movement. Otherwise, it's working off nothing. So again, if you look over here, you could see what happened. It started a nice upturn and it actually created another day of huge volume right here. And that day fueled another good few weeks. Again, this is a weekly chart. So each candle is a week to give you a longer term look. So th this is a nice way to look at that. Now, here's another example. This is a low volume. So what you can see it went low, had a big downturn. And then it did have a little bit of an upswing, but it didn't last long simply because it was low volume. So it started having a downturn. Even though it was high volume, it's bearish volume. Here's another example. A lot of volume here. If you look all the way up, you see that upswing. And what's also nice is you want to look for patterns. There's different patterns that we may not review fully in this class, but for example, this is called increasing volume. So this is going up every day. If you look, that actually spurts a nice growth right there. So that's how volume works. If you look anywhere else, for example, right here, you could see increasing bearish volume and you could see the turn on, on those days. Not a time you would like to invest. Again, this is also showing us the during the March during the COVID, so that could affect it too. So that's a little different, but even still you could tell with volume. Here's another great example right here. You could see there is very strong bearish volume on this week. And after this week, it gave you an idea of what's going to happen right there. We could even do it a little differently. So what if we take this chart to seven years on the monthly? So now each candlestick is a month. This could give you a nice example. So you could see here, you have you have a nice move right here on the bearish side, and it falls through all the way. And after that few weeks, look what happened. It had an almost a reversal, but because it was on lower volume than the bearish, it continued that downturn. When you're looking at certain bars right here where you see large volume, nice full body candle, look what happened after that you had a good few months of, of gains really nice few months of gains so that's just the basics of volume but just that little bit really will help you understand how you could predict movement of a stock thanks guys so there are a lot of other different patterns that go into volume make sure to include volume in your trading plan very important the predators of the game combine multiple tools and trading rules to make a solid decision on which way the stock will move. There are obviously a lot of other tools that are used that can't be covered in a single training. You do, however, have a glimpse of how the 10% have the advantage in the game while the 90% suffer to figure out the perfect plan by trial and error, which result in many losses. The next part we will discuss is how the 10% use substantially less money to make the same gains as the rich do. So stay tuned to that. I'll see you in the next section.